Well, hats and horns goes out to everyone. We've made it to Friday, the end of the week, and we've made it to December 31st, the last day of the year. We've made it. Well, I guess I shouldn't jinx it yet because uh, we still have uh, some more hours in the day. But uh, yeah, what a year it's been. Uh, another video is in the works. This one's about a fever division that saved lives. And that's all I'm going to tell you about that. Well, aside from the fact that it involved uh, one of uh, Albert's, uh, let me see, like a fifth great uncle. It's always neat to have someone like that in the family. And uh, well, I think most of us here listening probably have a certain degree of that ability in us. I know all children do. There's no doubt in my mind. That's why if you watch any of these videos and you see these spirits like looking through the cradle bars at the, the baby sleeping, you know, it's really, it's really creepy, but it's almost like the spirits look on babies as a fresh energy source and i don't think they really want to harm them they just want to try to tap in on that source just a little bit now i may be wrong and they might just be oh look at the little baby <laughs> I just know how fond the spirits are for uh, energy to keep them going. Let's see, what will today's card bring? The last reading of the year. It is the Ace, the Ace of Pentacles, but I don't think you can tell in this picture, but it's reversed. Though the Ace of Pentacles usually heralds an opportunity of some sort that would lead to great gains, to see it reverse can mean that this might be a poor investment requiring much more resources than you had initially reserved, or alternatively, you might be missing your chance. When one gets a reversed Ace of Pentacles, it may mean that they are about to face hard financial times as well as a lot of elusive opportunities. At this time, you are being advised against taking large financial risks and to think all your choices through when you are given a deal. It also might be a good time for an individual to seek advice from others and avoid making rushed decisions since the time isn't just right. It wouldn't be a good time for one to jump into a new job or business opportunity, especially if the main motivation for joining is to pursue prospects of higher financial gain. It just might be an illusion that can lead you to your downfall. That seemed almost all like a financial one, and I guess that's a lot of what this card is about. But in love... The reverse Ace of Pentacles can suggest that a relationship that once gave you a sense of stability may instead be making you feel anxious and vulnerable. There may be concerns about finances that are creeping into the relationship which can make the two of you feel unstable. 
Sometimes this can be alleviated with an honest discussion and a game plan moving forward. Other times the material or practical worries that you are dealing with now can be temporary and solved with some careful budgeting. If you're not in a relationship, be wary of people that seem selfish, greedy, or willing to take advantage of you. This card can also simply signal missed romantic opportunities. And finally for career, did you feel like you missed your chance to get that promotion you have been coveting? There is likely to be some sort of feeling of instability or missed opportunities with the reverse Ace of Pentacles. You may not feel like you're doing well in your job, and you may be paranoid about getting fired for poor for performance. Some of this may be imposter syndrome, but some concerns may be real. You'll need to take a realistic look at yourself. You may also be feeling as though you haven't spent your time wisely and made some bad decisions in your career path. You haven't invested in a career that brought you material emotional reward, rewards. It's not too late to change that. Think more about what you'd like to do. All right. And I don't need to cover the finances again because I think it pretty well said it all in the beginning. So there you have it. Last reading of the month of the year. But, uh, yeah, watch your finances today. It's all about the money. And I'm sure after Christmas, we're all probably about broke. Well, I was broke before Christmas. What am I saying? <laughs> but there we go. No, there is no second segment today. Um, I, I do, I, I want to try to push out another video and then I still have, uh, readings to do for everyone that, uh, uh, signed up for them. Um, and, uh, that'll be coming out tomorrow. So I'm going to be busy and. Because of that, I better get going now. Oh, holy crap, Ola, I forgot to light, light the candles. It's a little late now. <laughs> anyway, you all have a great New Year's Eve. Blessings for the New Year. And, um... I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a reading tomorrow morning, but uh, I will be getting out the, the readings that you all asked for. All right. So, uh, peace. Believe. And uh, bye-bye.